Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Tequesta, Florida, on this Thursday, the 4th of April, 2024, the Thursday in Easter week. My name is Ian Anderson, and I am a member of the Daily Offices team, the ministry that brings you morning prayer live every weekday morning on Zoom and later in the day on Good Shepherd's social media channels, Facebook, YouTube, and of course the prayer page of our website, goodsheponline.org. So good morning, Pam. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Sherry. And good morning, Letty. Thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer here at Good Shepherd. Alleluia. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Lord, open my lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. We will say together, Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Our invitatory, our, our psalms this morning are Psalms 146 and 147. We will say the psalms in unison with a slight pause between them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in any child of earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happier they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God who made heaven and earth, the seas and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant it is to honor him with praise. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our God and mighty in power. There is no limit to his wisdom. 
The Lord lifts up the lowly, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the harp. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass to grow upon the mountains and green plants to serve mankind. He provides food for flocks and herds and for the young ravens when they cry. He is not impressed with the might of a horse. He has no pleasure in the strength of a man. But the Lord has pleasure in those who fear him, in those who await his gracious favor. Worship the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has established peace on your borders. He satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends out his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He scatters his hails like breadcrumbs. Who can stand against his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not done so to any other nation. To them he has not revealed his judgments. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Good morning, Joan. Thank you for joining us this morning. So our Old Testament reading this morning is from the book of Exodus, and it continues uh, with Moses telling the children of Israel the uh, Exodus uh, instructions and the uh, the uh, for uh, Passover and the Seder. Moses said to the people, Remember this day on which you came out of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, because the Lord brought you out from there by the strength of hand. No leavened bread shall be eaten. Today in the month of Abib, you are going out. When the Lord brings you into the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, which he swore to your ancestors to give you, a land flowing with milk and honey. You shall keep this observance in this month. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a festival to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten for seven days. No leavened bread shall be seen in your possession, and no leaven shall be seen among you in all your territory. You shall tell your child on that day, it is because of what the Lord did for me when I came out of Egypt. It shall serve for you as a sign on your hand and as a reminder on your forehead, so that the teaching of the Lord may be on your lips. For with a strong hand the Lord brought you out of Egypt. You shall keep this ordinance at its proper time from year to year. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> we respond to our Old Testament reading with Canticle number eight in our prayer book, Cantimus Deo, very appropriately, the song of Moses. We shall say it in unison. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him, the God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. 
the chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. The sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You might have a little drink of water. Welcome, Debbie. Thank you for joining us this morning for morning prayer. Our New Testament reading comes from the closing verses of the Gospel according to Matthew, and it is what gives us the Great Commission. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> we respond to our gospel reading with the Gloria in Excelsis, glory to God. And you recall that this is one of two canticles in our prayer book that is not biblical. Uh, this and the Te Deum Laudamus, uh, You Are God, uh, were both composed in uh, the fourth century, around the time of the writing of the, uh, of the Council of Nicaea and the Apostles' Creed. And we do not say these canticles during Lent. So this is, so Tuesday was our first opportunity to hear the uh, Te Deum, and today our first opportunity to hear the glory in excelsis. So we will say it together in unison. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And now let us confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope and we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day is the Collect for the Thursday in Easter week. <clears throat> Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have rebo been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A Collect for the Renewal of Life O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning. Drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> Amen. And our prayer for this week, for Easter week, a collect for God's plan of salvation, one of the loveliest prayers in our prayer book. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the world and in every denomination, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of St. David's, Wales, the Right Reverend Joanna Penberthy, Bishop. <clears throat> we pray also for our own Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and his wife Kate and our companion diocese, remembering today especially the Diocese of Toliara, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Dr. Samatiana Johnson Razafindra Lambo, Bishop. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant the people everywhere may seek after you and find you, Bring the nations into your fold. 
pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today especially Bob and Pam, Michaela, Marilyn, Peter, Jim and Jerry, Karen and Jessica and family, Charles and Kathy, Donna and Elizabeth. Almighty and ever-living God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, hear our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life, and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite your own prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. And I begin this morning by giving thanks that I am recovering from my cold. I'm, I apologize for the catches in my throat and my clearing my throat occasionally, but I'm feeling so much better than I have been for some time. So, uh, so thanksgiving for that. Um, Letty asks our prayers for Bill as he works through his uh, physical therapy. So this is our friend, Bill, who had back surgery, and then he had emergency surgery to remove his gallbladder. There was a lot going on in Bill's life, but he is still recovering with uh, physical therapy. So let us pray for Bill. Oh, Lord, your compassions never fail and your mercies are new every morning. We give you thanks for giving our brother Bill both relief from pain and hope of health renewed. Continue in him, we pray, the good work that you have begun, that he, daily increasing in bodily strength and rejoicing in your goodness, may so order his life and conduct that he may always think and do those things that please you, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> and I would like to pray for our partners uh, in Haiti. Uh, pray for guidance, wisdom, and discernment for the Bondo leaders and board as they continue their uh, strategic planning. So uh, this is... Uh, this is the community in Haiti that we support, and including the uh, Bon Samaritan School. So uh, why don't we pray for, uh, for schools? And, uh, and uh, institutions of education. O eternal God, bless all schools, colleges, and universities, and particularly Bon Samaritan School in Bondo that they may be lively centers for sound learning, new discovery in the pursuit of wisdom. And grant that those who teach and those who learn may find you to be the source of all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And Letty asks our prayers for Christy and Bill as they travel to Tennessee next week. Uh, this is Letty's uh, niece, Christy, and her husband, Bill, who's got this new job uh, in Crossville, Tennessee. So let us pray for travelers. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, whose glory fills the whole creation and whose presence we find wherever we go, preserve those who travel, and particularly Christy and Bill. Surround them with your loving care. Protect them from every danger and bring them in safety to their journey's end. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Joan gives thanks for her sister, Marianne, today as she receives dental care. So let us pray uh, for uh, Mary Ann. May God the Father bless her. God the Son heal her. God the Holy Spirit, 
give her strength. May God, the holy and undivided Trinity, guard her body, save her soul, and bring her in safety to his heavenly country, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And thank you, Letty. Letty asks prayers for Bob's healing. This is our friend Bob, who uh, had been suffering from pneumonia. He's been on oxygen, uh, and uh, he's, he's still having a long recovery. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to your never-failing care and love for this life and for the life to come, knowing that you are doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And I'd like to give thanks uh, for the uh, late rally we have had in signups for our youth fundraiser on uh, Saturday night. Uh, this is a food and wine pairing fundraiser where I am the uh, master of ceremonies and I get to uh, to give uh, a wine tasting tutorial uh, and uh, to give a little travelogue throughout the world to the places where the wine is, is produced. And it should be a lot of fun. And uh, this year uh, for each wine that we're, that we're tasting, uh, the youth are preparing a small bite to go with it that accompanies it. So, so it's a sort of pairing. And uh, this was a lot of fun when we did it last year. And uh, so we, we, we're, we were, we're sort of in the mid high forties uh, in the number of signups. So I think it's going to be a really, really fun event, but let us pray for our youth. This is their biggest fundraiser to go on their mission trip uh, in the summer. And also uh, so that they can go to Canuga youth camp uh, for spiritual uh, renewal uh, in the summer. So let us pray for young persons. God, our Father, you see your children growing up in an unsteady and confusing world. Show them that your ways give more life than the ways of the world, and that following you is better than chasing after selfish goals. Help them to take failure, not as a measure of their worth, but as a chance for a new start. Give them strength to hold their faith in you and to keep alive their joy in your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Okay. So let us continue with a litany of thanksgiving. And for each of these petitions, the... Uh, the response is, we thank you, Lord, if you do not have a bulletin in front of you. Let us give thanks to God, our Father, for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us. For the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea, we thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord for our daily food and drink, our homes and families, and our friends. We thank you, Lord. For minds to think, and hearts to love, and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work, and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering, and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice. We thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer on this Thursday in Easter week. Thank you for bearing with my the remnants of my cold as I try to get through this. Um, have a great rest of your Easter week. Uh, please go against the grade and show up uh, to church on Sunday. Uh, the second Sunday of Easter is known colloquially in the Episcopal Church, at least, as Low Sunday, because after Easter Sunday, people take the next Sunday off. Don't do it. It's always Doubting Thomas Sunday, which is a wonderful uh, reading. It's the climax of the gospel, according to John. So uh, I hope to see you there. And of course, tomorrow when my lovely wife, Letty, will be officiating. So go out, uh, have a great day. And as you go out into the world today and greet your neighbor, be kind to him or her. One never knows what another is going through in this world. Amen.